。我是从一个国家来到了一个世界。I could gain a lot of、uh, new knowledge related to Buddhism. The teachers here in IBC are、um, they're all very good. They are able to、uh, to convey、um, the Buddhist teachings in a proper way. And、um, the life in general here in IBC is、uh, it is it is very open. It is people are acting friendly with each other.
Auspicious greetings. Good day, everyone. Members of the council, IBC faculty members, staff and students, families and friends of our graduating students. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome to our 14th International Buddhist College Virtual Convocation Ceremony 2021. IBC shall confer Bachelor of Arts and Master of Arts degrees to a total of 54 graduates in Buddhist studies, Pali and Sanskrit language studies. This year, we do not have any PhD graduate. 大家吉祥。希望此刻的您与家人一切安好。欢迎您出席 2021年国际佛教大学第十四届线上毕业典礼仪式。一起来参与及见证这与众不同。却注定铭记一生的时刻。今年国际佛教大学将为五十四位毕业生颁发佛学学士、硕士学位文凭，以及巴利文与梵文文学学士学位文凭。今年我们没有任何博士毕业生。We now respectfully invite the chairman of IBC Council, Most Venerable Dr. Wei Wu. To deliver his welcome address. 首先,我们恭请国际佛教大学董事长,维务法师致辞。Venerable members of the Mahasangha, council members, faculty members, graduates, students, and friends, welcome to the 14th International Buddhist College online convocation, which we are jointly holding for our 13th and 14th batch of graduates who completed their studies in 2020 and 2021. The International Buddhist College or IBC was set up in 2004. It offers students a unique opportunity for a comprehensive study of Buddhism from a non-sectarian point of view. 今天下午感谢大家出席我们在线上所举行的第十四届国际佛教大学毕业典礼。今天的毕业典礼视为本校 第十三、十四届毕业同学所联合举办的，他们是在2020以及2021年完成他们的学业。国际佛教大学成立于2004年，本校。现有的师生来自全球二十多个国家，强调解行并中，积极培育佛教僧俗四众的精英人才，并实质成为。Reflecting on the graduates that we have produced and is producing today, many of them have been accepted to top universities in the world, including University of London, University of Hong Kong, and many other top-ranking universities. Our students or our graduates were not only accepted, but they did exceptionally well in these universities. IBC has thus gained international recognition. And this is an achievement that we can be very happy about. I would like to take this opportunity to show our appreciation to our faculty staff, 
and the past students to bring IBC to this degree of excellence. Let us continue to be humble and to excel in future. Today, we showcase the better parts of IBC in this online convo. We do, however, have and know our weaknesses. And we are working hard to further improve. We must, of course, be grateful to our supporters from different countries. Hoigu 在短短十多年，国际佛教大学已经建立了国际和国内认可的教学质量。这是让我们非常欣慰的。我在此感谢我们过去十多年的老师和同学们的努力。为我们带来优良的成果十多年来在精神和财务上给予我们支持的各国佛教团体和菩萨们 To the graduates, I congratulate you for your achievements. Whether you continue your study or go back to serve the society you come from in different countries. Please remember to continue to support the Buddha Sasana for the good of the many and continue to promote mutual understanding and cooperation among the Different traditions of Buddhism. 对于今天毕业的同学们，恭喜你们在国际佛教大学完成了学士或硕士的课程。我相信你们从老师他们身上，以及在这个课堂上的这个传授的这个课程。中啊，学习到很多适用的佛法，不管你们继续深造或回到各自的国家，我希望大家谨记本校的教育目标，也就是造就优秀的佛弟子。以及佛教的宗教史，培养有正知正见的佛教僧俗人才。期待毕业生们能发菩提心，行菩萨道，把佛教的法脉与智慧。散播到世界各个角落，照亮世间。
the Honorable Rector, Professor Charles Willeman, will now deliver his speech. 接着，我们恭请校长魏查理教授致辞。Dear scholars, for quite some time I have been considering how to best address you. Finally, I have decided on dear scholars. This address contains two words which are equally important, relevant. Dear means that people in general, and also I, see you as precious individuals. You are all very precious to me. That is my emotional reaction to you. Dear has to do with emotion. The word scholar is intellectual. One may be a good scholar, but absolutely not dear. And vice versa. So this address appeals both to the feelings and to the intellectual brain, to the mind. We are in a college, in an institution where one learns, where one advances intellectually. The field in which one mentally advances is called Buddhology. It is wider than the Four Noble Truths. And the twelve links of the chain of dependent origination, pratitya samudpada. It is the study of the Dharma, the law, theory, and of the Vinaya, the rules to live by in a community of nuns and monks. As your instructor, I am supposed to know more than you about these two subjects. We will explain the law, the rules of Buddhism. Both in a historical and in a contemporary context, different cultural areas in the world have a different understanding about this, because different cultural areas in the world have a different culture, a different context and background. A Chinese and an Indian start from a different cultural context, but the goal always is to intellectually advance, to know more. About the views of a Buddhist, whatever her or his background, gender plays a role. It is obvious that the two genders are physically different, so the solution to the problems may be different too. There is no value judgment in my words. The first noble truth that there is suffering is true for everyone. We will explain how the Dharma is applied in a different culture. Indian Buddhism and Chinese Buddhism, although they have a, the same goal, namely perfect rest, still have different ways. They put greater stress on different subjects. It is quite important to develop a sense of relativity. The study of language is important too. One should be aware of the meaning of technical terms in more than one language. Nirvana is now known as perfect rest, but different explanations have been given in the past. So the technical terminology must be explained in different languages without any misunderstanding. In a college, we may explain the rules of the Vinaya, but the Dharma is more challenging to explain. The Vinaya is and always was quite clear, especially for monastics. Instruction in the Dharma is more challenging. There are different kinds of Buddhism, different schools, putting the stress on different fields. In India, a school is defined by its Vinaya, but in China, intellectual differences do matter a great deal more. Everyone can understand that an intellectual May prefer Chan or Zen. Being intellectual is an obstruction to perfect rest. By the way, one may think too much. Pure Land Buddhism, a Sino-Japanese form of Buddhism, is meant for another public. I will not start comparing Buddhism with any other religion, because in order to compare, one has to know to compare the fields quite well. I will limit myself to Buddhism. So, the word scholar, being intellectual, is what matters most in a college. But as there are different cultures involved, 
a clear explanation is necessary. The Buddha himself has considered confusion and ignorance the worst affliction of all. Also, I do not mean to say that the more you know, the better Buddhist you are. I will offer insights, but you yourself have to apply what is useful for you. The degree in which one may apply knowledge depends on your nature, of course. So, dear scholars, I will offer you knowledge but how you apply that knowledge will be different for every individual. May the Buddha Dharma prosper in the world. We shall now invite the Honorable Rector, Professor Charles Willeman, to confer the Master of Arts degrees in Buddhist Studies. Gong Qing Xiao Zhang, Wei Cha Li Jiao Shou, Ban Fa, Fo Xue, Suo Shi Bi Ye Zheng Shu. Under the authority invested in me by members of the Council of International Buddhist College, as provided in the Private University Act, I hereby confer upon these candidates the degree of Master of Arts in Buddhist Studies. Master of Arts in Buddhist Studies with Distinction Yu Dan Fo Xue Suo Shi Ming Dan Roni Barua Samisha Pramod Kambli Master of Arts in Buddhist Studies Fo Xue Suo Shi Ming Dan Ananda Chakma Alfredo Garcia Galvan Chan Wai Cheng, Jiang Tin Chi, Chandra Siri, Doje Domal, Dalipro Mamar, Er Hadi Kages, Shi Qian Bao, Heber Astanish Lao Pateta. Hui Gan Lao Ko Xiu Jin Kala Baran Chak Ma Jo Jo Ta Ke La Sa Shi Xian Ren Lo Jin Huat Lam Me Ka Litten Chak Ma Miak Ke Kai Notan Barua Pio Pio Son Kyo Guan Jia Bu Reverend Mora Tane Indaratana Tero Reverend Pahiyangala Kasapa Tero Saksi Sun Ton Samisha Mesram Siu Guang Jia Sharing Penjor Venerable Nanda Malar Venerable Soma Wang Ya Li Wong Fuk Ming The Honorable Rector, Professor Charles Willeman, shall now confer the Bachelor of Arts degrees in Buddhist Studies. Gong Qing Xiao Zhang, Wei Cha Li Jiao Shou, Ban Fa, Fo Xue Xue Shi Bi Ye Zheng Shu. Under the authority invested in me by the members of the Council of International Buddhist College, as provided in the Private University Act, I hereby confer upon this candidate the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Buddhist Studies. I Bachelor of Arts in Buddhist Studies 
，佛学学士名单，阿罗卡，阿扬巴罗奥维，金缪亮，伊迪乔塔。Neloy Chowdhury, Puttankura P. Mason, Sila Duang Buti, Stanzin Chosrap. The Honorable Rector shall now confer the Bachelor of Arts degrees in Pali and Sanskrit language and literature. 恭请校长。颁发巴利文与梵文文学学士毕业证书。Under the authority invested in me by members of the Council of International Buddhist College, as provided in the Private University Act, I hereby confer upon this candidate the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Pali and Sanskrit language and literature. 我谨遵照泰国设立大学法令。国际佛教大学董事会之授权，颁发学士学位与以下同学。Bachelor of Arts in Pali and Sanskrit language and literature with first class honor。巴利文与梵文文学一等荣誉学士名单。Any Barua。Damo Basa, Joy Barua, Bachelor of Arts in Pali and Sanskrit language and literature, with second class honors. Pali 文与梵文文学二等荣誉学士名单 Dora Pane Chanda Nanda, Nishan Barua. Bachelor of Arts in Pali and Sanskrit language and literature, Pali 文与梵文文学学士名单 Anirban Chaudhary, Jibok Barua, Tejananda, Utpal Barua, Venerable Nemika, Vichakana. Venerable Dhamma Sami, we shall now invite Venerable Doctor Wei Wu, the Chairman of IBC Council, to confer the certificate in Texture Studies. 恭请董事长，是维吾法师颁发文凭证书。Under the authority vested in me, as provided in the Private University Act of Thailand. I hereby confer upon this candidate the certificate in texture studies. 我谨遵照泰国私立大学法令，颁发佛学经论导读文凭，依以下同学。The certificate in texture studies, 文凭证书，范喜。是其风。We shall now invite Venerable Doctor Wei Wu, the Chairman of IBC Council, to present the award for outstanding in academic and conduct performance. 恭请董事长，是维吾法师颁发品学兼优奖。I hereby present upon this candidate the award of outstanding. In academic and conduct performance, 我谨依国际佛教大学之推选，颁发品学兼优奖于以下同学。Annie Barua, Year 2020, Bachelor of Arts in Pali and Sanskrit Language and Literature. Joy Barua. Year 2021, Bachelor of Arts in Pali and Sanskrit Language and Literature. Samiksha Pramod Kamble. Year 2021, 
Master of Arts in Buddhist Studies. Professor Kapila Avaya Vansa, Vice Rector for Academic Affairs, will now deliver his speech of encouragement. Gong Qing Fu Xiaozang, Kapila Jiao Shou, Zi Xun Chi. Today is another remarkable and memorable day in the history of International Buddhist College, for it conducts its 14th convocation ceremony today. International Buddhist College is an internationally recognized Buddhist academic institution accredited by the Office of the Higher Education Commission of Thailand, and it has the sole intention to promote the Buddhist studies. We can proudly announce that at the moment we are having. Many students from different countries throughout the world who are dedicated to Buddhist studies. The Buddhist education does not merely mean to gain knowledge of the different subjects of the Buddhist studies. It really means to learn how to apply Buddhist values to our life process. IBC is devoted to ensure both academic and conduct performance of the students. Accomplishment of Buddhist education can be achieved when the students gain knowledge and discipline in the highest level on the equal basis. Primary aim of the teachings of the Buddha is happiness and well-being of the human beings. That is the motto of the International Buddhist College, Bahunang Vata Atthaya. Buddhism can contribute a lot to the human beings in their social and individual dimension. Specifically, at a time like present, when the social miseries, crimes, and disasters are prevailing on the global level. Buddhism can be the savior of the people if Buddhist values and virtues are incorporated with the human life. That is what IBC is trying to do through its educational process. There is no doubt that the students who receive their respective degrees of Buddhist studies today would be very happy about their education. In IBC, for the reason that they can go to their countries with a valuable gift, that is the gift gift of the Dhamma. It is called the highest gift, Dhamma Dana, Dhamma Dana Jinati. It is our sincere wish that IBC students would be valuable assets to their countries. I thanks you all. Venerable Saksi Sunthon will now represent the graduates to deliver speech of appreciation. Sabari Club, honorable members of Mahasangha, professors, lecturers, students, and hearties, congratulations to all my fellow BA and MBA graduates of International Buddhist College. My name is Saksi Sunthon, and I am honored to be the representative of all the graduates today. In giving this graduation speech, as an MBA graduate, I am indeed proud of International Buddhist College. It is indeed a great learning center and has professionally nurtured and developed all the graduates. We not only have academic qualifications, but we have learned a lot in terms of mindfulness and values. I am sure all the other graduates will agree. Personally, I have three key takeaways. That I would like to share. For ease of remembrance, I am using the acronym G A S for the values that have been ingrained in me. G stands for gratitude. A stands for attitude. S stands for service. First and foremost, gratitude. 
I would not be able to achieve my MA degrees without the generosity of a busy father, most venerable Weibo and Green Tian Tam Foundation, in providing the IBC facilities and scholarships throughout the programs. I am grateful to IBC founder, donors, professors, lecturers, staff, cooks, and others who have kindly helped and rendered us the support during our studies. I am also grateful to my parents for the sacrifices they make. In the university, I also get to know my brothers and sisters in the Dharma from various countries. We study together, experienced, happy and tough times, never fail to help each other, pull through thin and deep times. Our friendships have come a long way, and I'm grateful that you are all my good friends. Do remember to keep in touch using WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, and other applications. Second, attitude. The Noble Eightfold Path of Buddhism says the right mental attitude or effort. When people come from different countries of different cultures and have to live and play together, same bedroom, same classroom, same dining room, same library, I must confess it's not easy to manage at all. As time goes by, with the right mental attitude, with the right effort, good communication, and honest, sincere discussions among ourselves with day-to-day -day living and in our studies. We overcome all odds. We learn to listen more and be patient with each other for mutual understanding and friendship. I am proud to say that we help and support each other through the daily duties required of us. All these are some of the life lessons that I have learned at IBC. Last but not least, service to fellow graduates. We have spent time and put in effort for four years of BA and two years of MA studies, and finally, we have achieved it. Soon we are going our separate ways. Some of you may decide to further your studies, and some of you will return home to your countries to give back to the community in the best way you can. To serve our community, however, it doesn't mean it is the end of learning. It is the beginning of a lifelong journey. Whatever you decide, MA, PhD, getting a job, and spreading the Dharma, all you learned these years will put you in good state. Be persistent. So, fellow graduates, remember G A S. Gratitude, attitude, and service. Thank you. 毕业生代表王雅丽同学致谢词。尊敬的国际佛教大学董事长、校长、各位法师、老师、同学们，大家好！我叫王雅丽，是一名来自中国内蒙古的学生。非常有幸于2019年通过国际佛教大学硕士课程的申请，现今我已经完成佛学硕士的课程，成为了一名佛学专业硕士研究生。回忆两年来的学习经历，我有太多的感受跟大家分享。我非常感谢国际佛教大学，让我能够系统的学习佛学知识。从前，我缺乏善知识的引导。学习佛法没有章法，而我们学校的课程安排让我系统全面的学习了佛学知识。现在我已经可以站在更高、更深、更全的角度去理解佛法，在脑海中建立了严密的佛学知识体系。感谢国际佛教大学提高了我的学术水平。国际佛教大学非常重视提高水准的佛学研究成果。对我们的教育专业而又严谨，在跟着老师做研究、写论文的过程中，我学会有条理、有秩序、有层次的论述论题，并能参照祖师大德和学者们的智慧，发挥自己的所学、所见和所闻。
。感谢国际佛教大学，让我更领悟到内心的清安和稳定。多年来，我一直在寻找一个能够继续学习和心灵成长的机缘，最好是与探索生命有关的学科。最终，佛法。给了我最真实和最有价值的答案。很有特点的是，学校安排的大众生活接近僧团四岁生活，让我们非有非常多的机会亲近善知识。每日早晚功课让我接受佛经的洗礼，忏悔自己的罪业。我发愿更用心修行，利益他人。正如我们学校的戒言：“绝世间，利有情。”在国际佛教大学学习的生活经历，是我人生当中一段重要而又特别的经历。学校的温暖培育了我内心的慈悲，学校的专业提高了我的学习能力，学校严谨的作风锻炼了我坚毅的品质。再次感谢国际佛教大学，感谢创办人大和尚、法师们和教授们对我的引导。感谢同学们的帮助和陪伴，感谢学校的每一位工作人员的兢兢业业。你们都是我的善缘，是我生命里的光芒。我将因着你们发光发热，把爱和善传递出去，也借此机缘祝福所有的毕业生前程似锦。希望大家将所学习到的佛法。化为一盏明灯，言传下去，续佛慧命。谢谢 ，Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of the IBC 14th virtual convocation event. To all our graduates, happy graduations and congratulations to your achievement. To all of you who had attended this virtual ceremony today. We hope you would have a pleasant and a memorable moment. May your day be filled with happiness and wisdom. Please stay well and stay safe. Thank you. 诸位，我们的线上毕业典礼仪式就此圆满，无限感恩所有姻缘的成就，也感恩你们的出席。祝贺我们全体毕业生前程似锦，学以致用，学佛所学，行佛所行。祝福大家平安吉祥。五十六朵清净妙莲花，现诸佛菩萨。五十六朵清净妙莲花，现诸佛菩萨。今天国际佛教大学毕业典礼，结花献火，我把你们奉献于菩萨，启发你的菩提心，送你心上。菩萨道，哎呀呀，我把你们奉献，我。